peace be upon you today we'll have a look at Ubuntu 12.04 beta 2 and see what's all new and what all changes have come this is the Ubuntu 12.04 default wallpapers that have just been uh, released today and uh, I have received the updates of it in the evening so all the wallpapers are simply gorgeous I mean I thought 11.10 was was excellent in consideration of the community wallpapers and this is no different all the wallpapers are simply beautiful simply beautiful I will put the uh, links to the download um, below so the first thing that you will see in the Ubuntu 12.04 is that the launcher and the notifications have the chameleon effect that was introduced in 11.10 with the, the with the in dash so this looks really beautiful also the default behavior of launcher has been set to fixed that means the, the launcher re remains on the screen so that people can easily easily get it around with it new users there is no need to worry because you can easily have a, a turn on auto hide if you so want so it works beautifully let's have a look at what all changes also one more thing and now the dash uh, the launcher supports quick list so you have a quick list for the lenses uh, in the da in the big funny button your dash home your applications files and folder lens music videos your your home folder that is not list supports quick list for the folders uh, in your in your home folder your chromium already had the quick list and all the applications that are on by default on ubuntu 12.04 and that support uh, quick list will get quick list by the final release and many already have it let's have a look at home dash home the, this uh, has changed in ubuntu 9.10 and 9.04 and previous iterations the dash home was uh, eight of eight uh, big buttons but that has been removed and uh, in the dash home you have recent apps recent files and downloads your applications is your standard uh, lens so you have your options there as usual and so does your files and folder lens now this is a nifty thing added by the developers that when uh, the dash is not able to provide you with any options and uh, any results that the this notification comes that sorry there is nothing that matches your search now this applies to applications and uh, many uh, any other thing for example let me type in something and the same uh, notifications comes only now related to applications you also have your videos lens so you can configure what all sources do you want to, uh, uh, do you want to plug in by default you have all over here so if for example I may only have TED talks and YouTube over here in my video I don't have any videos right now so example let me search uh, for a video yeah now let me launch it and that's what happens the video launches in your default web browser in my case is Mozilla we are running the latest from of Firefox 11.0 this is actually a very nice video and if you have, have a chance and if you like so it then you may go ahead and watch it in your free time also let me show you some of the interesting changes in all in system settings uh, my Unity is an application that I have installed. Uh, it's easily available in the software center. Privacy is one of a very notable, uh, notable addition. So here, for example, 
if you don't want uh, dash uh, to show results of some of uh, some of your particular files and folders you can mark it over here and add the folders over here yeah you can like i do okay and now if i uh, now uh, the the dash will not show uh, the for the contents of download uh, in my download folder so if you are if you are, so if i clear the hi history then from that moment the downloads uh, the content in my download folder will not turn up in the dash and so you can mark different things this is a really cool option because uh, uh, people use their systems or uh, in professional places like school colleges and workspaces so they don't want some of some of some files and folders to be visible on their dash while they are working over there in public space so this is a good thing yeah. sound has also received an update it's more streamlined now so here you have i have uh, my speakers connected and my headphones connected and this is the, your input that is my f mic the front microphone that i have connected here is your sound effects and here you are uh, the, the application that are that are using the volume option and the rest is all standard management service is a new tool that has been brought by canonical that people who want to paid service i believe they can easily get commercial uh, uh, system manage uh, service uh, through landscape client uh, they have to install it and i believe they have to you can i will pay, post uh, this uh, paste the link in the show notes so that you can check it easily now one of the things uh, one of the coolest features of uh, ubuntu 12.04 is the is the hud now what is hud now the problem is many people don't uh, get to uh, go don't get the shortcuts early on when they start using unity so for that thing if you long press uh, the super key all your keyboard shortcuts are visible on the screen so here you have if someone does even does not know the shortcuts if only by long pressing the super key one can get them and your alt is for hud so what basically hud does hud is a way is a new way through which you interact to menus and your system for example right now i am on desktop so of what all interactions can i have i have mu the sound configuration sound system working over here so if i want i can mute it uh, there you go if i want i can change my uh, let me open empathy and then i will show you so here i am offline now if i want to go available all i have to for first time i have to make myself well by uh, by acting uh, through the regular stuff okay so now that i am available now i can change quickly so if i want to select my show my status busy i can easily do that bam also it works with the all the applications there are few applications that is, uh, there are many applications that support the hud for example your web browsers your gimp and i have not tried on it, it on uh, most many applications but i have tried tried on uh, empathy and firefox and uh, mumble that i will show in a minute so for example let me uh, open a page for now and i want to have a new tab so all i have to do is enter new tab and the new tab was already there So this is how it works. If I want to quit, I can quit it, and that's it. Let me quickly show you Mumble also, and how beautifully it works on that also.
hi everybody so here I am on member uh, actually friends I am currently screen casting for Ubuntu 12.04 beta 2 and I wanted to show them uh, show the people the HUD functionality that we can use in member so I'll be going deaf and for now uh, deaf and mute for now through HUD so yeah uh, they there you go okay now if I want to undo that I can do that okay okay friends I'll be taking a leave for now and I'll be coming shortly back shortly so if I want to quit member I can simply type quit and quit it so these are just the few things that I wanted to show you there are many more poly and uh, many more things that have been included in 1.12.04 hard work done by the developers this is going to be an awesome release I really like I'm really liking it and ho I hope come 26 April you also like it and enjoy it thanks for watching